Hey guys, I'm shooting, uh, this is like my fourth vlog tonight, but I just shot um, another one because I've been doing this mountain pose series and I wanted to share um, because I was so pleasantly surprised. At first I was thinking, wow, and I'm talking about the Ultimate Yogi. I did the mountain pose series and I was like, oh, of all the ones I've done so far, this seems kind of easy. And then I was surprised because with just some of the little tweaks and instructions he gave on, um, you know, how to place your hands or, or how to have your shoulders up or whatever. It's just little pieces of instruction, a tweak in the way you're standing or posing or whatever. And all of a sudden you could just so feel it. And it just made me go, oh my God, this is like so incredible. You can't always look at something and judge um, whether it's, it's beneficial for you based on the fact that it might be really, you might really be feeling it in your legs or your muscles, you might be pouring sweat. Something like this is very subtle, but it's still working uh, muscles and areas of your body that you weren't expecting. Um, not to mention it was quite good um, for the mind. So I'm gonna be doing the uh, meditation after I shoot this. But I did bring out um, a couple of books because some of you people had, had been writing to me and saying, you know, Kelly, you told me that you're going to be studying yoga and getting your certification down the road and blah, blah, blah. So what are the, some of the books that you're reading? Actually, I left one of them in my bedroom. Um, that's the one by Iyengar. Is that, I hope I'm saying it correctly. Um, yoga. Uh, Light on Yoga, I think that's one. He has so many that he's written. Um, and uh, it's, it's really, I'm taking my time to get through it um, because it's kind of intense, each chapter is intense. Um, but I mean, one of the simplest things that came out of reading that book was, he was talking about, you know, whenever you're doing yoga, you wanna focus on relaxing your jaw and relaxing your tongue and your mouth. And I find myself so often when I'm doing this that I'm clenching and I grind my teeth at night. So I, 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 I find myself paying attention to, you know, am I, am I, you know, clenching my teeth, am I, Pay attention to what, what your tongue is doing and your whole jaw is doing because we hold a lot of tension and stress in our mouth. And you might be thinking, oh, I'm doing this pose. And then inside you're like, see that? That's tension, that's stress. So um, that was one of the like little gems that's just um, fantastic. Um, kind of like yoga, right? Yeah, I'm turning into a fanatic. But the funny thing is, is somebody else wrote this to me on my, on my, um, blog they said you know they said you're one of the few people that I've run across online that's not just into yoga like that you really still love to do a lot of cardio and hit the gym and hey you guys you got to find out what you, what you love um, I am not following I've never really followed what other people do as far as I mean I might, I might find something that I love that someone does but I don't you know I think one of the biggest things I can say is attribute I can attribute my success this year to but also my peace of mind is that I'm just not going oh I've got to do it this way because that person said it if somebody else you know if I'm if I'm saying oh I'm you know I started off with a paleo approach to my diet and then I kind of morphed into some other stuff or adding it who cares if some if I'm not you know paleo anymore I eat what I eat um, I run the way I run. You know, other people go, oh, how many marathons do you do? I'm like, I don't really do marathons. I just run. I like to run occasionally. I like to get on the treadmill. They're like, you like to get on the treadmill? Yeah, I like to get on the treadmill. That's what I like to do. I love, I absolutely am addicted and, and I can't get enough of yoga and I want to study it and whatever, but I don't only want to do yoga. And let me tell you, when I go to the gym, I like to hit the weights and hit the weights hard. And I, there's nothing I love more than muscle. And, and building muscle and conditioning your body and seeing what you're capable of. And, um, but on the same time, I think that yoga is like the perfect balance to all of that. Um, and, and as we get older, hello, I'm 44 years old, you know, getting that flexibility and seeing that I'm improving my flexibility and my strength versus so many people. Do you know how many people that I know that, that used to say, oh, well, after 30, it's all downhill. Or they've said that about 35 or 40 or 45 or whatever. Hell no. Our generations no longer need to be looking at 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 or, or even 80s and beyond and going, oh yeah, that's what I'm going to be hunched over. And I mean, no. 
that's just it. I feel like I am in better shape. In fact, my mom, I just saw my mom today and she said, Kelly, I have never seen you look in better condition than you do now, ever. And she said, you know, everything about you is different and you look great. And you know, my mom's always like, not that you looked bad before, but you know, and, and it does take a lot for my mom to say something like that to me because she's always worried that I'm gonna get, you know, too skinny, which is kind of funny. <laughs> no worry about that here. Um, it's just not a desire of mine. It's not a desire of mine, plus I like to eat too much. Um, but it, it's, my mom is always going to fare on the side of telling me I don't need to lose weight or I don't need to work out too much because she's worried that I would get, you know, too skinny or something. So for her to say something like that, it's kind of a big deal. Um, but anyway, a lot of you guys have been asking me about some of the books that I've been reading, either that originally got me started kind of wanting to do more yoga or whatever, and that's helped me with um, just kind of ways of looking at life and whatever. But I brought out some of the new books that I have and then some of the books that I've read in the past. This was really a great book. Um, and I think I read this a couple years ago. Um, really fast read. I, I just think it's a great book about somebody who really changed their life and didn't expect it. And also it wasn't like, oh yeah, I tried yoga and then all of a sudden I'm a complete different person. She went through different phases um, and this was just, it was really interesting how she kind of figured herself out. I think that was a great book. This book I bought, not really about a diet. I just think it was an excellent book more with the, no idea how to say this, Ayurveda. I always say that word wrong, but it's, it was more to figure out, you know, what's your type and the types of foods that are better for if you're Vata or, is it Pitta or Kapha? I hope I'm saying that, probably not saying that right. But it was interesting because the, um, I come out as a, um, a Vata and it says the foods that are good for me are beets, sweet potatoes, dates, eggs, papayas, mangoes, figs, freshwater fish, fennel, amaranth. Never tried that. Um, but that kind of goes along in alignment with um, that book I read, Eat Right for Your Blood Type, which was spot on for me. Um, I do very well and I tend to prefer fish and beef and I don't really like chicken and um, I don't like pork at all. Um, and then some of the vegetables and fruits tend to be spot on as well. So I bought this book a long time ago, probably when I wanted to be into yoga and I couldn't get into it and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna read this book and I'm totally gonna be into yoga. And I think I, I think I got to page chapter three. <laughs> yeah, see, I got to page 44. But you know, if something's not right for you, it's not right for you. It, it wasn't right for me back then. Um, it's right for me right now on so many levels. Um, so, and, and anyway, I'm doing this because it appeals to me because certain things have fallen into place and then I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do and I just can't soak it up enough. Uh, this is a, another book I just ordered. This is a book I got the first time I went down to Miami, which I haven't touched, but now I will. Um, when I started going to yoga with Kelly, I got this at the Skanda Yoda, Yoga Studio. Ken let me buy this from him, even though his wife uh, was like, um, we only have one left, but they were very kind of, I'm just getting sick. Um, I think this is another one, like Kelly said, it took her a long time to read it. Some of these are very intense reads. Um, this is more of an illustration book, which I like. This one's great. I didn't realize I already had this, but you know, this is all about, oh, someone's uh, texting me. Um, this one I'm looking forward to as well. Got a lot, people. This one. Uh, and people, this is a lot about everything. Some people see, think Kundalini and they think it's all about, this is a lot about your chakras. Chakras, Corey. Um, okay, I'm getting a text. This one's about chakras too. Um, this one I'm excited about. This is a, a lot more, for the love of God, just a minute. Historical, um, which I studied. Um, I had two majors and three minors in uh, college. And uh, my two majors were history and history of art because I was planning on going to law school. That lasted about, well, as long as it took me to start studying for my LSAT and then I gave up. Um, but history, history of art, business finance, sociology, and psychology. Um, but I really loved in history of art studying um, 
Hindu and Buddhist art, which is why I have so many Buddhas all around. You know, my mom's always freaking out going, people need to think you're Buddhist. And I'm like, mom, I'm a Christian and I appreciate Buddhist art. And I also appreciate Buddhist philosophy, but I am a Christian woman and I am fine having little Buddhas all over my house. My mom and I get into that. Well, no, we haven't gotten into that for a while. Um, but she used to say that. She's like, what's up with all the Buddhas? I really do have quite a lot. But I, I just loved studying that. I, I mean, there's so much meaning behind every little ounce and some of the things, there's some things in, in Hindu art that are this big and people have carved these, the most intricate things onto one little, you know, uh, bodhisattva or whatever. Um, and then these, I think I showed you guys before, this is all about, you know, kind of just looking un underneath and seeing what the poses and the muscles that you're using in yoga which is pretty cool because, you know, the more that you, I'm finding, the more that you understand what you're supposed to be stretching and opening up in a pose. You know, sometimes I think when you can get first exposed to yoga, you might, you know, do a stretch or do a pose and you're like, what is this? And, and then if somebody's there, and that's why I think a class is different than a DVD because sometimes in a DVD, obviously I'm not talking about ultimate yogi, they don't tell you necessarily where you're supposed to feel it. Like that when you're in um, whatever, if you're, I don't want to say this because I know I'm going to screw it up. If you're in this pose and, you, and you're pulling out this way, you're supposed to be stretching your left side. It's not necessarily about what you're doing with this arm. Everything is about stretching and balance and opening it up. And then when you see that, you're like, okay, let me focus on that. Or, you know, a lot of times, a lot of the poses, I would find that as I was bending over, I was always getting corrected in class because I would stick my butt out. You know, you're leaning over. Well, that's not doing the pose. If you're sticking your butt out, that makes it easier to hold your butt and, and then lean over. That's using, you know, all of the side here versus just sticking it out and then you're just sticking your butt out, which is easy to do. But it's pretty cool to understand. And then, again, the more you understand, the more you can pay attention and you might also notice this, which goes with this. I got that at Corey's studio. Anyway, I have to go get my meditation on, but I am just loving all this. It's the gift that keeps on giving. I have just started one week into it, and I am absolutely beyond addicted, and I can't wait to see what things are going to be like 108 days from now, you know, based on this, but based on everything that I'm doing, and based on... Um, just life being good. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow.